good day to all today our topic is how can we make cross lab joint in carpentry now it is the carpentry plays vital in our domestic products as like shelf as like tables and the doors the table and the doors has a different uh, joints for making a assembly of uh, wooden products so that this video presented about uh, how can we make the cross lab joint Myself, Dr. B. Suresh Kumar, Department of Mechanical Engineering, K. Ramakrishnan, College of Technology. Before into going into topic, uh, we should aware about what are all the tools placed for making a joints. Initially, every process uh, started with a tri square. After that, clamping the workpiece in table means we utilize G clamp saws and measuring tape for measuring the dimensions of the uh, workpiece, wooden piece. After that, claw hammer, red pin hammer, and the hand drills, chisels, sandpaper for sharpening the chisels, and the nails. These are all the common tools for making a wooden joints and the carpentry works. The bench wise is also utilized for clamping the wooden workpiece on the table. These are all the main tools utilized for making a carpentry work. Then, marking on wooden workpiece, how can here the operator places steel rule and measure the flat side of the wooden piece and mark with the pen or pencil. You may place pen or pencil. And also he make a dimensions on uh, lengthways also. And draw the lines with respect to the requirement or otherwise customer drawing or standard description available wooden standard books. From this he get the dimensions and also he mark the dimensions on the respective workpiece with the aid of steel root and pen or pencil. Now he draw the dimensions of corner lab joint Piece. Now he utilizes tri square for getting exact perpendicular line on four piece material. From this uh, tri square we can achieve 90 degree markings. So the opposite side also required the marking. So he utilizes freely with the hand mark the dimensions on one piece. Now he completed the corner lap joint one piece and he may mark on another piece because two pieces are used to make a joints. After marking the workpiece is fixed on bench wise. So initial step is marking on the workpiece and clamping the workpiece on bench wise. Now we may go for making of corner lap joint. The operator replaces handsaw. With aid of handsaw he cut on the marking lines. From this we can get, get the notch on the workpiece material. You see how he places the saw on the workpiece material, how he places his hands on saw and how can he place the saw on workpiece material, wooden workpiece material. We follow the same procedure and also we can get the safety measures in carpentry work. Now the wooden workpiece material removes in the form of tiny chips from the workpiece material with the aid of saw. So we can get the cutted portion on the marked area. Now he removes the workpiece material from the clamp bench wise. After that, another workpiece because we need two workpieces for making a joint so that first he completed the operation with the male workpiece and now he tries to female workpiece and here also he follows the same procedure 
for making a cutting or marking line. Here also the work piece is removed in the form of tiny chips, tiny wooden chips. With the aid of saw, he can produce the perpendicular markings with the base of work piece material. You follow the same procedure for making a joint. Yes, now he completed another piece also. The cutting on marking lines with the aid of saw. Now he places G clamp for fixing the workpiece on wooden table. Now he fixing the workpiece on the wooden table with the aid of G clamp for further operations. Yes, G clamp is tightened. The fixed jaw is clamped to bottom side of the table and the movable jaw is placed on top side of the table likewise. He utilizes the chisel which is named as chisel, plain chisel, plain edge chisel and also he utilizes a wooden hammer for applying force on the chisel handle. Now he started the chiseling operation on the wooden workpiece material along the marking area. Already he cutted the workpiece with the saw, the aid of hand saw. Now he places the plain edge chisel for removing the in between material from two cutting edges. Now he removes the wooden workpiece, unwanted wooden workpiece materials from the yield workpiece material. See how he removes the workpiece material with the aid of uh, G clamp and the chisel. Plain chisel. Now he tilted from the opposite direction. He may perform the chiseling operation for completing the chiseling operation, completing and making the exact marking dimensions. For getting the exact marking dimensions with the aid of G clamp and the plain chisel edge. Now he get the exact dimensions as per standard book with the aid of G clamp and plain edge chisel. Now he goes to finishing operation. So he gives tiny force on the chisel handle. From this he can remove the burrs, chisel, I mean wooden burrs on the workpiece material. Now he removes all the unwanted materials from the work, wooden workpiece. And how? Now he moves to fine finishing stage. can get the exact dimensions what he marked with the opis material and then he tries to another female part of the wooden opis material here also the saw cutting lines are available so that in between the two saw cutting lines he should remove from this only he can make the cavity on the workpiece material. From the cavity only he may join the two pieces with the each other perfectly. So now he utilizes the plain edge chisel. With the aid of plain edge chisel he removes the unwanted wooden workpiece material from the required or need workpiece material. How can he how he how how he remove the workpiece material exactly you also utilizes the uh, same hammering action and the chiseling on the workpiece material from this action only you may get the exact dimensions the exact dimension means what you require your required dimensions from the saw we can get the tiny chips Okay, in chiseling operation, 
we may get the lengthy chips so different tools creates different uh, chip formations because of the tool nature and the tool angles and the tool length tool dimensions based on the tool dimensions we can get the different types of chips and applying force also plays on the chip dimensions now he tilted the workpiece for getting the wooden cavity on the workpiece material now he tries to see how he places the line edge chisel on the workpiece material you place the chisel as like how he fix on the marking lines unwanted wooden workpiece material from the required workpiece material with the aid of plain edge chisel and wooden hammer and also he clamped the wooden workpiece material with the aid of G clamp on work table. Now he removes the burrs available with the wooden workpiece material. Based on the workpiece material for fine adjustments or fine removing. Yes, now he got the another part of corner lap joint. Yes, some more birds available with the workpiece material so that again he tries to remove the unwanted birds from the workpiece material yes now he tries to match the two joints two cavities with each other and he places the hammering action for getting the perfect joint. Yes. Because of close tolerance, the two pieces made some with some difficulties. For the reason he utilizes some external force, the external force is applied with the aid of wooden hammer. Thank you all. Now you may have aware about how we make our carpentry jobs in carpentry workshop with the aid of carpentry tools. Thank you all.